Well, good morning and happy Friday to you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are ready for today. What are you waiting for is my question for you today. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? It's something. Prince Charming? Maybe. Cinderella? Maybe. The lottery? Maybe. For the crap to hit the fan so hard that you're faced with the necessity of implementing the change because you have no other options? What are you waiting for is my question for you today. And why do I ask you this question? Because my desire is by the end of this video, you will have a very clear understanding of the personal responsibility you possess to be the only activating catalyst for you to make a huge decision for yourself to change. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Ain't gonna nobody show up for you. Ain't nobody gonna fight for your dream as hard as you will. They will certainly steal it as quickly as possible. They will certainly discourage you as quickly as possible. Sorry if I look tense for a minute. I went from a lot to no miles per hour super quick and the lady behind me looked distracted. I didn't want to get hit again. No, y'all are always worried about me getting into accidents. I only get hit by other people when I get to an accident. What are you waiting for? Well, I'll get in better shape at, at New Year's resolutions. That's when I do. I, I get my financial house in order on January 1st. You know, at the New Year. I start my new diet when we get through the holidays because, you know, Grandma always makes her bunuelos and fideo and menudo and after all, I cannot offend Grandma. What are you waiting for? You are waiting for something. I spoke yesterday about the two catalysts for change. One is victim, one is victor. One is one that you have control over and one is one that slaps you in the face when life happens to you. Two things, desperation or inspiration. Desperation will put you in your place and give you no other option. Inspiration will allow you to move forward without having to suffer the dire consequences of neglecting something. Your body, maybe. Your marriage, maybe. Your children, Maybe your finances, maybe the one who created you, maybe desperation will confront you with the neglect and content you have shown for that particular area of your life that like a funny sound in your car that you hear, you think, uh, eh, la, 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 I can't hear that sound. I can't hear that sound. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. And you hear the sound and you know that you need to pay some attention to it. And you know that you need to put some focus on it. You know it's going to require some work. Most people think if I just keep driving, the sound will go away one day. I hope if I, if I see that look in my wife's eyes, if I see that look in my husband's eyes, maybe one day it'll go away. If I see that negative sign before my bank account, maybe one day it'll go away. If I can't look at myself in the mirror in the morning because I have spiritual issues going on, maybe someday that'll go away. Let me give you a couple words to encourage you with that. Tank gonna go away. Tank gonna go away. It will show up in your life little by little, gradually, then suddenly you are faced with desperation. My encouragement to you is inspiration. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for before you make the decision? What are you waiting for before you make the sacrifice? What are you waiting for before you decide to take action moving forward? Let me eliminate a couple excuses for those of you who are known to walk in excuses rather than execution of activities. Excuse number one, I don't have the time. 
boom, throat punch in my coaching program if you say I don't have the time. No, sweetheart, it wasn't a priority. Change what you say. Everybody has 24. Everybody's got them. It's not that you didn't have time. It wasn't a priority. I bet you put your makeup on today, sweetie love. I bet you did. I bet you shaved and I bet you brushed your teeth, Mr. Thang. I bet you did. You made time for it because it was important for you. Well, Steve, my day's so packed. We'll get up a freaking hour early. America's about to help you here when we have fall back. Listen to your body instead of your alarm clock. And when you feel your body wake up, get up. You got an hour early coming up. I don't want to hear you. Well, I, I, I don't have the money. Start doing this stuff and money has a way of showing up. Start doing this stuff and money has a way of showing up. I don't have the education. Do you uh, watch Facebook? Do you uh, watch memes? Do you spend time watching television? Did you know that you could Google some stuff and maybe learn a little bit about some stuff? It's just not a priority. If it was important to you, you would find a way. When it's not important to you, you find an excuse. One of the two. Let me remove the excuses from you. Inspiration can move you to change. Desperation will force you to change. That sound in the car doesn't go away. That look in your spouse's eyes doesn't go away. That bank account thing doesn't change. That beer belly won't just disappear one day. You will have to make the decision to move forward. Why don't you go fix the car immediately when you start making the funky sound? I'll tell you why. Simply because of this, because you think, oh my gosh, uh, 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 what if it's expensive? Oh my gosh, well, well, what if I'm inconvenienced? What if I have to keep the car there? What if they need it for a week? What if the guys there try to stick it to me? What if, what if, what if? And all these issues that you are afraid to face, so you just go, la, 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 I can't hear my car going, clack, 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 clack. I'm just going to ignore it, hope it goes away. Problem is with that sugar ply honey plum is that Friday on 5 o'clock in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic at Loop 1604 and IH10, your car will shut down. And you'll be stuck right there in traffic. And everybody will bless you with their middle finger, say names, cuss you out because you'll back up traffic for the next three hours on a Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. And then guess what? All that stuff you were worried about happening that you could have taken care of with inspiration and faith, you now will have to face in desperation, fear, have to go through the same crap anyway, but now you are totally out of control and you have additional expenses and additional inconveniences and repair is always significantly greater than maintenance, the cost. Maintain your body, man. Maintain your marriage, man. Maintain your parenting, man. Maintain your money, man. You better pay the price to maintain. You know, I don't mind if you drive one mile an hour, but brother, really? There's someone behind you here. Sorry, man. I just, you know, this guy's like, hey, are we taking the tour of the parking lot or what, brother? Come on. I'm literally doing one mile an hour. Sorry about that, y'all. He must be in desperation. Ain't got no inspiration, I guess, under the hood there. Thank you for getting out of my way, brother, man. Shoot. I don't judge nobody. I love everybody. <sighs> Except for crazy drivers. Ladies and gentlemen, oh Jesus, take the wheel. Look at this. You know who that is? That's my crazy wife who just passed me up. Because, yeah, I always do that when I see her. I always race past her. Look at that woman. Give me my seven cheerings. Go in first place in a women's fitness competition. Desperation or inspiration. Look at that woman. Pass me up. You know I love that, right? Dang, why'd you have to do that before I go to work? Now I'm all turned on. Sorry I said that, Ziggler family. It's true, though. Inspiration or desperation, you will make one or the other. You make one, the other makes you. You will either take action on inspiration or you'll be forced to take action because of desperation. Desperate situations cost more. Before your marriage gets in a desperate place, before your finances get in a desperate place, before your body is in a desperate place, before your parenting is in a desperate place, let me suggest that you get some inspiration to avoid the desperation. Study, do what you gotta do, get the resources you gotta get, and realize everybody's got the same 24 hours in a day. It ain't that you don't have time, it's just that it ain't a priority. So ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? If you're waiting for a sign, the good Lord told me to tell you, here's your sign. 
right here. Brother Collins, telling you, take the action today and make a difference in your life. Have a great Friday, guys.